Hey, what's up guys? Lego here with Dyna Demos, and today we're gonna to be installing the Villain 2 Hero fork brace. So make sure you guys check out the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. So we already have a fork brace install, so this isn't gonna be a how-to, uh, but what we wanna do is we wanna install this on the bike, go out for a quick rip, and I'll let you guys know if I feel the difference. All right, guys, so this is the Villain 2 Hero powder-coated black fork brace. So I think you can pick this up for around like 140 bucks. So it's, it's a price to sell, definitely. Um, powder-coated black, I think this is made of aluminum. I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong, but it's held together with eight Allen key bolts. So right here, uh, these were already, these were loose uh, when I got it. So all I did was tighten these up. And then all I'm gonna do is remove the two um, Allen key bolts on both ends and install this. And that should be it. So check it out. Uh, for the install, uh, we reached out to Villain 2 Hero and he said, um, when installing this, make sure you utilize blue Loctite um, on all the screws, all right? So what we're gonna be doing it when we install this is putting blue Loctite on all of the screws. Also, this is made out of 6061 aluminum, all right? And if you wanna know more about it, just Google it. All right guys, right here we have a rare siding. This is Rod. I know he hasn't been on the channel in a minute. Uh, so what he's doing right now is he is checking for binding and the way that he's gonna do it is he's gonna load the front forks. And then if you notice any uh, binding, which is gonna be the, uh, which is gonna be the forks rebounding slowly or on the way down, uh, the forks getting hung up anywhere. So as we looks right now, Rod, does it feel like there's any yeah, binding? Feels good. Feels good. Um, you're, you'll notice if there's binding, but uh, right now it appears that there isn't. Uh, what binding's gonna be caused from is if you over tighten the uh, fork brace, you would clamp down on the, uh, dust on the dust caps, and then they'd actually squeeze the fork leg, and you don't want that to happen. So uh, now that we got it installed, I'm gonna take it out for a quick rip, and I'll let you guys know if I feel a difference. Uh, as far as install goes, I would call this an easy six pack. And as far as looks are concerned, I think it looks pretty good. So check it out, Rod. What are we gonna do now? We're, at, we're gonna go out and ride. Dude, I'm gonna take this ditch out, dude. You need gas? Nope. You do? No. I do need... No, I don't need that either. Okay. Hold up. Whatever you want to do, dude. Dude, that dog's awesome. Operation Hog and Dog. All right, guys. So I'm gonna try to hit these corners. Uh, see if I can feel the difference. Hopefully, I don't die. So before making a final determination and telling you that this is the best thing ever, I just want to. Uh, get a few more rides on it just because we didn't get a ride that far um, so I don't want to I don't want to lie to you guys and say uh, it's the best thing ever I just don't know yet 
but I think for $139, the Villain 2 Hero Fork Brace is definitely a really good option if you're looking at fork braces. Um, so this is Lego here with Dyna Demos, and make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe.